Hey, what's up everybody? It's Daydream. So, I'm back again for the second video of the day. Thank you guys for being here. Make sure you guys tell your lines about the channel. All that good stuff. So, let me get into the video, guys. So, I was informed a little bit ago. Actually, one of my Alliance members that, um, he's from Taiwan. So, he, he actually finds out things really early because, um, you know, it does need to be translated and all that stuff. But, I ended up, um, fact-checking it and making sure, um, through my sources that this was true. And, in the next balance changes, there's going to be a troop balance adjustment. So, let's go ahead and take a look. So, there's going to be two different troop balances going on. Let me get over to the troops so that I can show you them. And, you guys know, we just did a video about this uh, two days ago or something. So, it's probably, you know, our um, collective effort that made this happen. Because they've been getting overwhelmed with mail from people saying, like, look, man, this isn't even cool anymore. It's way out of control. So let me just go ahead and read the changes. So, um, troop adjustment one. The chance of a combo attack made by the Prestige 5 archers has been reduced. The Prestige 5 archers were too strong, leading to a monotonous troop formation. Um, a strategic formation will be more powerful and fun to play. So they're saying that the archers were, everyone was just using archers and, you know, sending basically 90% archers. And, uh, yeah, they were just way too powerful. Now you'll, Hopefully with the changes, you could still run archers and they'll still be powerful, but only in the correct circumstances. Only if the person's running, you know, a bunch of uh, infantry and doesn't have any cavalry or anything to counter the archers or any siege or anything that can counter archers. So, it's good to know. So, the archers are getting reduced. The next one, and if you guys remember the video, um, which most of you probably do, you remember what I said. I said, I'll just go over what I said. I said, the archers need a debuff. I said the cavalry's, um, the T10 cavalry is fine. Um, I said that the T10 uh, infantry is fine. I said the T10 uh, cavalry, the strike archer needs a little, bu a, a little buff. And I said that the halberdier needs a big buff. So here, let's get to number two. The damage of the swipe attack from the Prestige 5 pikemen has been increased. Optimized the damage of the Prestige 5 pikemen. Show the enemy front lines how ferocious these pikemen can be. So... Let's go check these out. So the Pikeman Halberdier, one of my favorite troops, they're uh, cavalry counters right there. Increased damage to cavalry. So they um, they should be, they should be um, you know, getting more kills. They don't get very many kills and everyone has tons of cavalry. So why aren't they getting any kills? Well, it's because they, the apparently the swipe wasn't, um, this right here, the sweep wasn't strong enough. So now that they've increased the sweep, hopefully the Pikeman uh, will make a comeback and people will be able to use their... Uh, level 43 um, or level 40 uh, here let me show you the level 40 equipment that's got the double infantry attack which a lot of people love the axe of Mars it's the coolest looking piece of equipment at level 40 in my opinion um, and instead of rather than having the uh, double cavalry infantry bucktooth axe like I did it for a long time people can start using the axe of Mars all these all, all this equipment should be usable you know all of the attack equipment should be usable. People should be able to, if they like archers and siege, they should be able to use it. But no one should have to pick one because it's just absolutely godlike. Like, I'll take a slight, I'll, I'll, I don't mind having a slightly less attack if I'm using the troops that I like to use. Does that make sense? So, um, we can go ahead and put these on because we shouldn't have to worry about the archers no more. Now, I'm sure they'll still be really strong, but I hope they're not as strong and, um, you know, if they need another balance update, that's how this stuff works. You have to make constant updates to troops. And, um, you know, I would like to know if they have anything in place that where the counters actually do anything or if it just goes all by statistics. That would be interesting to know, wouldn't it? If someone sends, and I could do testing in beta if I wanted to, but they should just tell us. Does it just go by statistics? Or does it matter if someone's... Uh, if there's two equal troops, if pikemen counter cavalry, if you send 100,000 pikemen at 100,000 cavalry, let's say that the person, um, they have equal buffs. Who's going to win the exchange? Let's say the um, pikemen person has better. Let's see. You know what I mean. We need to figure out, like, do the counters really work or is it just all about the stats? Because if it's all about the stats, then, um, you know, that's pretty, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, we'll have to, we'll have to check that out. So hopefully, guys, um, this is a good sign that there are 
they're listening to some of what we say. I know that they've translated some of the videos and some of, uh, you know, our movements and everything. But uh, we'll be coming at them strong. Don't worry. I have your guys' back. And I won't give up on you. I know that a lot of you have a lot of time and money invested in the game just like I do. And as, although it would be, you know, easy for me to quit, it would be hard to um, leave all the Clash of Kings guys behind. Uh, so, I'm in it for the long haul, guys. Uh, I won't I won't give up. They'd have to do something really bad. And, it, you know, I haven't given up and they've made the Sage Tower, the Hero Palace, the Graphium Stone, and the Research Stone. Four things that are just absolutely ridiculous. I stuck through the SVI P10 Super Alley and the P5s, which I thought was as bad as it could get. The Prestige 5 and Super Alley, I thought it couldn't get worse. I was badly wrong. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's leave this on a, let's leave this as a positive video, guys. They're listening to some of the things we say. And, uh, yeah, as a community, we'll have to make sure that we keep things, uh, going. That don't mean I'm gonna, uh, lay off any. I'm going to be just as uh, aggressive towards them and make sure that they get things done. Uh, I will be doing the Dragon Campaign playoffs for them, guys, on December 11th. If you want to come uh, watch me stream that, it'll either be on my channel or the Clash of Kings channel or on the Twitch channel. I don't know which one of the three it'll be on yet, but it's going to be on one of the three. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I know, I think it goes on for a couple weeks, and I'll be doing... I'm going to try to do as many matches as possible. It's going to be good footage and everything, so... Might as well do it, right? So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Teamwork makes your work. Smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you click on some of these awesome videos. Hit that subscribe button right here in the middle of the screen. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.